Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, today I am going to be talking about Dave Batista talking with James Gunn, and because of what I've been hearing of what they were talking about, Batista will not be playing as Bane. And, in this conversation that Gunn and Batista had, Gunn will be hard rebooting the DCU, which, at this point, I'm not really that surprised that he's hard rebooting, because... Because with what's been going on with certain things, so yeah. Without further ado, though, let's just get in this article and see what exactly it says here. So it says here on Variety that Dave Batista's pursuit to play Bane is over. The actor revealed in April of 2021 at Justice Con that he met with Warner Brothers to demand he play the Batman villain in an upcoming movie. Batista said at the time, I'm not kidding, they were a little like, whoa, we're not even casting Bane. I was like, I don't care, I'm playing him. Now that Batista's Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn is in charge of DC Studios along with Peter Safran, some fans have thought the actor's goal of playing Bane might get fulfilled. That won't be the case. Batista confirmed in an interview with Insider, I have had conversations with James about that, Batista said, but I think the direction he's leaning in, completely rebooting that whole universe, he's starting from scratch and starting younger and fresher, and I think you need to do that. I think for the DC universe to be revived, you need to start from scratch, and I think you need to start with younger actors. You need to start a plan. You need to start to plan. I'm sorry about that. Uh, for the next 15 years, and I just don't think you can do that with me, and I understand that. All right. Interesting. So moving on now in this article, Batista added, I have to say that I appreciate that because I don't want to play a character that I can't bring justice to. I don't think at this point in my career that I can bring justice to Bane anymore. I just don't know if I could handle the physical part, and I don't think I would have the longevity to play ahead for films. So I just don't know if I'd be that guy, which is completely understandable because of this whole 10 year plan. So I don't know if like Gunn and Saffron want Bane to be in the DCU for a really long time, because if they do that, I don't think Bane, I was about to say Bane, um, Batista would have that, oh my God, I can't think of the word, but, but, T, but Batista wouldn't have um, that, ah, whatever, I can't think of the word, um, but, but yeah, it would be a problem though, um, especially with how old Batista is right now, um, like, like, he probably wouldn't be able to act, um, which, that's, I, there is another word, but whatever, um, that I was thinking of, but whatever, it is what it is, um, so, it just makes sense, uh, that, that Batista, um, doesn't want to, can't do it because of how long, um, because he's on kind of some borrowed time and playing as a character like Bane, I think could, it would be really awesome. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, it's like, because of this whole 10 year plan, if Bane's going to be in the DCU for a long time, then yeah, I do believe that Batista made a good call by not wanting to do it because he's not going to be able to act anymore by the time. Um, they get to the final film with Bane in it. So if Batista did play as Bane in the DCU. So, yeah, so moving on. Um, Bane was last brought to the big screen by Tom Hardy and Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Rises, which I remember that. Whether or not the villain will be included in Gunn and Saffron's overhaul DC universe remains to be seen. Gunn has already confirmed he's been writing a Superman movie centered around a younger iteration of the character, meaning Harry Cavill's out of the role. We all know that. The new DC Universe also does not include Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman 3 or Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam character. Obviously, we all know about that. Uh, Gunn and Batista have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 set for release in May. The Marvel tentpole will mark the end of their ten, 10 years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Batista said recently he was relieved to be saying goodbye to his Guardians character, Drax, which is kind of saying right there that if someone's going to be dying, I wouldn't be surprised if Drax is the one that dies. Um, it wasn't all pleasant. Matisa told GQ magazine, it was hard playing that role. The makeup process was beating me down, and I just don't know if I want to, Drax to be my legacy. It's a silly performance, and I want to do more dramatic stuff. 
next level pizza is in night gym. Okay, knock at the, can knock at the cabin, which I'm not really interested in. Where knock, mark, knock at the cabin if I have to be honest with you. But, but yeah, so that's the next movie he's showing up in. But uh, but yeah, man, um, it sucks that Batista will not be playing as Bane in the DCU. I was really hoping to see him play as Bane, especially like I I would have really wanted him to see Bane, like. If he was just going to be showing up in one movie and then after that he never shows up again, I would have been perfectly okay with that. But because um, Bane would be in the DCU for a really long time, for like eight to ten years, then yeah, I could see that kind of being an issue, especially with, like I said before in this video, um, Batista's age. So it makes sense for Batista not wanting to play as Bane, especially with... Um, with the, however long Bane is going to be in the DCU. Uh, so, yeah, it just makes sense. Um, if there was something that Gunn and Saverin made a decision on with just having Bane be in one DCU film, I think Batista would have definitely been good as Bane if it was just for one movie. Because, again, if he was in multiple movies, he probably wouldn't be able to make it to the final movie that his character would show up in. If I have to be honest with you. So yeah. Um, that's all I really gotta say about this. Um, post comments down below though. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, are you sad that Batista won't be playing his bane in the DCU? Or are you happy? And uh what do you think about this um hard rebooting stuff that gun has just literally officially confirmed here? Um, I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts about this in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and if you guys know anyone that's a fan of a DC or of James Gunn, or Batista, or Bane specifically, uh, you should send this video over to them, because they might, have a good, they might have a good time watching this. And also, come follow me over on Twitch and Discord. I'll be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, until then, though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!